Hey, it's Eric with Ride Labs, and uh, I don't know if you saw some of my videos from down in St. George, but you might have noticed I had some problems with my rear brake. So I came over to Steven's house, and he's gonna help me bleed these brakes. All right, let's get to it. The first thing that you want to do is to remove the rear wheel. Let's just pull that wheel right off. Put it aside for now. Next, once we've removed the wheel, we will remove the C-clip, put it aside in a magnetic holder so we don't lose it. Then we will loosen this hex key right here so that we can remove the brake pads. Get them out of the way so that we don't get any of the oil on them. Once we've removed the brake pads, let's push the pistons back into place with just a flat rubberized tool so we don't mar anything. Get that, get them pushed back in place. And they're all the way open. Then we'll install the bleed block. We'll just put that in there, put this hex back in there so that that stays in place. Next, we want to get the bike oriented so that the brake is at the lowest point. Once the brake lever is now at the top of the line, we're going to loosen the bolt that clamps it onto your handlebars. It's a four millimeter hex. Now that we have the lever at the top of the line, we're going to try to adjust it so that it's at 45 by loosening the hex that holds it in. And in this case, we also have to loosen the shifters and get those out of the way so that we can get it down at the right angle. So your actual lever is supposed to be at about a 45 degree to the, to the ground. All right, the next thing that we're going to do is use our two and a half millimeter hex to loosen this bleed cap on the top of your lever. Put that aside. And then you just screw the funnel in and just hand tighten that. Next, we'll fill up our syringe about half full with the oil. And then we'll pull this back a little bit to get the, the fluid out of the line. And we want to make sure we get all the air that we can out of the syringe so that we don't introduce more air into the line. Now before we connect the syringe, there's this little rubber dust cap that we're just gonna put to the side for now. And then we're going to press the tube on and then there's a little black sleeve that goes over it and we'll push this tool down here which will lock it on place. Now if you have a little spanner you can put that on beforehand but I don't have the right size spanner which should be a seven millimeter so I'm going to use it an adjustable one. Now this should be nice and tight so that that syringe doesn't come off. Now I notice there's a big bubble in here that's okay we'll push it all the way through the line. All right now we'll take this plunger out of the cup put a little bit of oil in there so that we don't introduce some more air bubbles just a little bit. All right, now we're going to take our seven millimeter wrench, and in this case, I'm gonna use an adjustable one, and I'm going to loosen it an eighth of a turn, and that should open that valve. Now, as I push oil through the syringe, I can see it coming up through the cup. And just continue to push the fluid through. You should see some bubbles there's air in the line. All right, now that that cup is full, we need to dispose of some oil. So I'm just gonna tighten this bolt back here to close the valve and then stick this plunger in right here. Oops, wrong way around, rubber seal down. And that should keep this from spilling out when we unscrew it. I'm gonna take this off to dispose it. Now I'm just going to screw this cup back in there real quick so that I can push some more fluid through and make sure that we have some clean fluid coming out the other side. Just try to continue to push as much fluid as we can through there. All right, so next we're going to put some clean oil here in the cup and then we're going to compress the brake lever and let uh, the oil come out the bottom. All right, so now we have this bolt closed here so that when we remove the syringe and put our oil collection bag on, it's not gonna leak until we open up this port. Now that we have the oil collection bag at the bottom, we're going to 
open that valve and then just tap our brakes a couple of times to get the oil flowing. We need to watch the level of the oil up here in the cup to make sure that it doesn't go too low. So we'll keep on adding oil as we flush oil out the bottom. Now the oil should start flowing out of the bottom here into our oil collection bag. And we'll wanna just tap the lines up a little bit to make sure we get those last bubbles out. Tap the caliper. And if you need, squeeze the brake a little bit with keeping an eye on the level in your cup. Because we had some dirty oil in here, we're gonna let this go for a while and try to flush a lot of oil out of the brake. Now we're just going to go ahead and tighten that up, close that valve. Then I'm just going to take this zip tie, I'm going to apply pressure to the brake lever. Then we're going to take our wrench and we're just going to open this valve up and close it in quick succession two to three times. Now you can... Next, we're going to take our Allen wrench, loosen the brake a little bit and tilt it back up the other way to about 30 degrees, tighten it. All right, then we're going to repeat this process of opening and closing it quickly two to three times. Now we'll take this brake lever and put it back about where it should be. And we can go ahead and remove our zip tie. Put a plug back in the cup. Go ahead and remove the cup. Put that aside. And then we will replace the cap. with our two and a half millimeter and tighten that hex key. Now the torque spec to that is only like half to one Newton meter, which is not very tight at all. Now we want to remove our oil collection bag. Make sure that our valve is closed. Replace our little rubber dust cap. and clean off any oil remaining on the brakes. You can use isopropyl alcohol if you want to get it nice and clean. Now we're going to remove our bleed block. Just remove that hex bolt again. And we will put our brake calipers that we put aside back in. This should just Slide right in, put our bolt through, tighten them down. Now don't forget the little C-clip. All right, now all we have left is to put the wheels back on and we are ready to ride. Line up those brakes. Put the axle back through. All right, let's get the back wheel back on. Now, because we had it shifted into our lowest gear, it's easy to remember where the derailleur should be. Line up the brakes. Tighten that down. All right, let's test out our brake. Oh no. What happened in between? I think it's just that. I think it works. There we go. All right, Stephen, well, thanks so much for helping me with my bike and showing my viewers how to bleed the brakes. I really appreciate it. You're welcome, Eric. Catch you guys later. See ya.